Well, that's what we call an attacking safety shot where you open the reds up. But <laughs> has he left something into this left corner? No, it's pretty good. I don't think he can get through to the one near the pocket. First red as we just come around. Well, that is such a tough shot. He's just playing the safety shot off the side cushion, and I don't blame him because the way Judd has been potting, he's got to tighten up. And the other thing, Dennis, I mean, how much do you fancy those kind of long shots when you sat out your opponent knocking in balls from all angles? Probably not very much, is the answer. Anyone would feel the same. He needs to be a bit careful, doesn't he? Because at the moment he's got Sean rattled and he doesn't want to give him good chances. That's a little bit where the experience may or may not come into it. But he's, he's definitely on top. But he just doesn't want to go for one too many. The adrenaline must be pumping out there. Well... That was about the best. He was trying to get the white back past the ball colours near the cushion because he knows that his young opponent is a devastating long potter. Well, look at this shot he's looking at. He's, he's looking at the possibility of potting a red and canning the one away from the black, but now he's looking to see if the black will go. really have to get a bit of stuff on the cue ball to get over for that black. One. Yeah, he, he did try to force it over, but the cannon on the other end spoiled it, and now he's got himself a bit of an awkward situation here. He can hit the black, but... Uh, yellow ball. He's nominated yellow, so he must hit it, otherwise an automatic miss will be called. Foul. The miss. The Trump one. So Murphy four. Interesting, Neil. Now, he can hit the black, so if he misses the yellow this time, does yeah. the referee have to warn him? It depends if the referee believes he's got a, a clear shot at another ball, which is, in this case, the black. Foul. And a miss. John Murphy, four. I did look, uh, I spotted Johan uh, Uman, our referee, just looking across at the black when he set the ball up, as if to say, well, look, has he got a clear shot? In which case, well, let's just see if he gives him a warning, and that'll be the answer for us. Is it the three strikes and out rule? In other words, if he doesn't hit a colour this time, will it be losing of the frame? Okay, do that. The black, yeah. Yep. Hit the ball There's the warning. Lose the frame, okay. Has to hit the black this time. I'm just wondering if Judd realised that because I think he was going to get down and try the yellow again. So yeah, he just play off the black and um, back up the table. I think he can get down from from the from the black towards the bulk end. Actually, the trouble is he's pushing a red over a, towards the left of the table and a red may end up over a pocket very likely but he can't take that chance thank you I think he may have got away with that you know he had to risk that but those two reds near the pocket, I think they're uh, they're safe. There's only a couple of possibilities, but they're both very risky. One in tie the corner pocket, but Sean doesn't really want to be taking either of those on because there's no guaranteed colour. 
That's why he's giving it a bit of thought. <coughs> it's not a nice shot. But uh, there's one thing we do know. Looks like Sean's having a go. Oh, that was a, a tricky one, especially with the cue ball going close to the pack. Could be worse, but then we've seen Judd Trump pop these. Take on the red, I think, to the right corner. Don't think he can refuse them. Why would you want to? The way he pots. Well, he's left one on up into the corner pocket past the green, but he could have left something a lot easier than this. He had no intention of coming into the reds there when he attempted that pot. But yeah, I think Steve Davis uh, got it right there. The fact that Judd has gone ahead now, it, it, it reverses the pressure. Now the young man is leading the former world champion. That adds a certain amount of pressure to his game. And Sean Murphy will know that, but... It's fascinating to watch. One. Nice opening red. Cleans a whistle this one. He is the wrong side of the blue. So he's going to have to go in and out of bulk if he's going to land on a red here. He's got enough power in his cue action to do that. He's going to have to punch this one in. Well, he decided not to. Cue ball's a long way away from his next red, though. He's quite surprised he didn't go all around the table. There's one close to Six. a pocket, maybe, which he's going to take on, but he's going to hit the other red on the way through. Might finish on the black, though. Seven. Surprised he hit it quite that hard, because the white had a good chance of stopping the other side of the black. That's what Sean was hoping for. Always going to be the problem though, wasn't it? Playing on that red the way he did, you can never be certain of where the cue ball was going to finish. Sean Murphy, seven. Well, this time, I don't believe there's a pot on whatsoever, so Giada's got to be a little bit careful because the reds are quite well spread now. Having said that, he's looking at the angle of this red into the middle pocket. The white's tucked up on the bottom cushion. It's a very acute angle. He's going to cannon into the pink and reds again if he takes this on. And he is. I'm not sure about that choice. I'm sure he could have worked out a safety shot. Can't keep taking those type on. Well, it was a risky one at some point. I mean, he's been exciting us a lot through this match but is he here to enjoy himself or win that was a little bit pushing the boat out I think that shot One. well we'll find out in about five minutes time whether that was a rush of blood that Judd had because the chance is now with Sean Murphy to knock a few in
four. Nine. Slightly straight on this red. He did just check to see if the pink would go right centre. Ten. And he must believe that it does. It does go top right as well. I'm sure we tried it in the centre though. That was the plan. I have to change his mind. Very good queuing there. Excellent queuing. And the pink spot's occupied, so 60. it goes on to the black. Seventeen. to disturb anything here, the weather sitting, 37 points in front. You can clinch this frame with just pinks, the blues there if he needs it, he doesn't have to worry about the black. Twenty-four. And this will send a message to Judd Trump, if he can secure this frame, because it was a very risky shot that the young player took on. 30. I don't think even his idol, Ronnie O'Sullivan, would have gone for that one. Thirty-one. This was the shot, I mean, Sean put him on the cushion tight. It was a very low percentage shot he took on. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Nice strike in that one. Don't know if he can avoid the red just below the pink. I think he might have to play a cannon into it. Maybe stay on the other end along the cushion. George is checking the scores. 51 in it at this stage. So a little bit more work to be done. Well, he couldn't avoid the red. And he may be out of position. 43. Could be a red on, but it won't be an easy one. 58 in front, there's only a possible 59 on the table, any colour will do, but that red went right in the heart of the pocket. There's the difference, 63. 59 on the table, and straight forward red, it's 6 all. 50.
Sean Murphy. Misses 50. a straightforward black, but well, Judd's coming back to the table, but 64 behind with this 51 on the table. Very little chance. Yeah, Frank. In fact, Frank he does concede. So.